What's up guys, it's your boy Concrete Customs coming back to you again with another tutorial on how you can apply some designer stencils onto just about any shoe or surface. I know you've probably seen it done multiple times already, but in today's video, I'm gonna demonstrate how you can do it step by step, and hopefully you can achieve the same results that I did. If you do find this video helpful, go ahead and drop a like, comment, or subscribe. And if you need some stencils ordered, go check out my girl on Instagram, HJ Artistry. She's got some really cool stencils. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So first things first, guys, we're going to remove the factory finish by using acetone and some cotton balls. This is the key ideal step to any custom if you want all your paint to adhere onto the surface properly. You can use nail polish remover if it contains acetone. Remember, preparation is key. And then once you're done actually removing the factory finish, sometimes the cotton balls or cotton swabs you have used might leave some residue behind. So what I'd like to do is I get some tape and I kind of just lay it flat on there and try to pick up any pieces that may have been left behind that are gonna get in the way of my painting later on during the project. And now we have a clean surface and we're ready to move on to the stencils. And here we're just going to be picking off any of the other little pieces we're not going to be using and setting them off to the side for maybe future use. And after this step here we'll be applying the transfer paper to actually pick up the rest of the background and we're going to be applying it to the side of the shoe. Now that we're done weeding out the stencil, we're gonna take our transfer paper and place it over the stencil so that it properly adheres and picks up and we'll be able to place it nice and neat onto our toe box or whatever area we're putting it onto. And what I like to do is I flip it to the back and I'll use the back of the X-Acto knife and try to squeegee on to the transfer paper. Just kind of press down a little firmly. And when you're done, it should all pick up at the same time. Like so. Now it can be easily transferred onto the toe box. Kind of line it up, see where you're gonna want it at. I'm gonna go ahead and make some slits right here so that it's easier to bend rather than just being one big fold. Now I can neatly put it onto the side, as you can see. And I'll probably make a few more cuts. So now once it's on there nice and neat on the toe box, I'm gonna kinda just press it down, flatten it so it gets that shape. Try to run my fingers along the edge of the groove so that it sticks a little better. And now you guys are getting a good idea as to where the stencils are gonna be along the toe box. And then we're just gonna slowly peel that transfer paper back. I like to use my X-Acto knife to kind of hold down the rest of the stencil as I'm peeling it back.
Now, before you throw this piece away, remember there's still other little pieces that were left behind that you might want to put back on the stencil to give it that clean look. Now that we got our stencils on there, our other areas masked off so we don't get additional paint anywhere else, another helpful trick to get these stencils to actually stay down and adhere onto the shoe properly is going to be a hair dryer. Or if you have a heat gun, be really careful with the heat. So I like to use a hair dryer on low heat setting. Right, so you're gonna make sure you want thin, nice, even layers while painting onto the stencil. And then once you're done, you're gonna heat set in between each little layer so that way it dries properly and you can put the next coat on. Now that we're done painting, we're gonna go ahead and start removing the stencil. It doesn't always come out perfect, but that's why there's always room for touch-ups. And I also like to use an exacto knife to help me lift up the stencil where I'm not just pulling the paint along with it. I'm gonna go nice and slowly. So as you can see, this one came out solid, whereas to the other ones, they may need a few touch-ups. The shoes are now finished and complete. The touch-ups have been done. And check out these results. It's a mighty fine detailed work. Now that we got those clean, we're going to be moving on to the finisher. And I like to use LK Shoes Leather Top Coat Finisher, as well as Riley's Restoration Scratch Resistant Sealer. Some both pretty good top of the line products right here. And I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check those two out. But let's go ahead and start with the Liquid Kicks Shoes Finisher first. I'm going to be doing the airbrush method. Apply a few drops. And I'm going to do two medium coats, heat setting each one in between. And probably by the last coat, I'll let it naturally sit for 10 minutes.
If this video was helpful to you in any way or you'd like to see me create more content like this, please like and subscribe. If you aren't following me on Instagram, go ahead and copy and paste the user tag in the description below. I'll be doing a giveaway at 3,000 followers. With that being said, I'll catch you on the next one. And remember, keep it concrete.